So I was also a co-author on the amivantinib study. And amivantinib is a novel uh, EGFR inhibitor. It was actually originally designed to overcome EGFR resistance for patients on standard therapy, most commonly osimertinib. It turns out it's pretty active with a response rate of 40% in patients with what's called an EGFR exon 20 mutation. This is exciting because there are no other drugs that are FDA approved currently for these exon 20 insertions. So it's an, uh, a clearly unmet need. So the fact that we have anything that targets it is great. Um, the response rates are impressive with a very tolerable drug as well. The major side effects are classic for the EGFR inhibitors, which is skin changes, nail bed changes, diarrhea, some mucositis. This is currently sitting at the FDA and we hope it gets fast tracked approval within the next uh, many months or so, which is great. It will be a first in class drug if it gets that FDA approval because there's nothing out there. Uh, there's some ongoing studies right now looking at it in the first line setting. So comparing it, uh, I'm sorry, mixing it with chemotherapy uh, going forward. So we're super excited because there's nothing been out there and it's a huge unmet need for these patients currently. There are currently some other drugs, uh, TAC-788, now known as Mobocertinib. There was an abstract on as well. So there's some other drugs against uh, this target also. But again, being excited for this uh, clearly unmet need for our lung cancer patients.